Hello, my little Willy. In today's tutorial, I will teach you a simple technique to create the most beautiful chained edges. Because I know that many of you love to knit scarves, blankets, and we could use this technique also for knitting a cowl or even a headband. It's really easy to do and just very pretty. So grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. It really doesn't matter how many stitches you cast on. As usual, you can find the written instructions on my website, sewwoolly.net, and there is a link for you below this video on the description box, just below the title of the video. First row is the only row that is going to be different to the others. With yarn in front, slip the first stitch as if to pull. Put the yarn, working yarn, here. It's like a yarn over. And knit. To the end of the row. Only on this first row I like to work the last stitch through the back loop. This way we can avoid a huge loop there. So I'm going to knit the last one through the back loop. Second row. From now on, you will be doing the second row all the time. So with yarn in front, slip the first stitch as if to purl. Place the yarn here, like a yarn over and knit two last two stitches. And knit those two together. That's it. From here, every row will be the same. With yarn in front, slip one, as if to purl, keep your working yarn there and knit to last two stitches. And knit both together. And repeat with yarn in front, slip the first as if to purl. Place your working yarn there and knit two last two stitches. It's like a yarn over after the first. When there are two stitches left, knit them together. So you need to work several rows to see the effect. And before I forget, if you are working a different stitch that is not garter stitch, you need to take into account that after the first stitch, the second needs to be a knit stitch. So if your pattern is different, you should add two stitches at the beginning and two stitches at the end, because those two and those two will be involved for the edges. Okay? So, this is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on so you will always know when a new tutorial has been published. And happy knitting!